All right, so today we are going to be skinning this nice seven pointer my son shot. If you hadn't, you should have uh, watched the video on skinning a whitetail. My son shot and skinned his first whitetail. Now he's going to, that was horrible, skinned and shot his first whitetail. My son <laughs> gutted for the first time because this was his first buck that he shot. Now he's going to show you how to skin this bad boy out with my assistance behind the camera. So I'm going to start up in here. Yes, sir. You're going to raise this off yes, and you're going to cut it up to here and then around without cutting the meat and you want to cut inside. You don't okay. want to cut, you cut up and under here and you want to cut under the hair, not on top of it. Yes, sir. You want to try to get as much, the least amount of hair on the critter as possible and just go straight up and up here with like a slice going up, straight on up. Perfect. So then what you're going to do is you're going to run it around underneath the hair. Then you're not cutting. No, no, no. Don't cut up too high because you'll cut into that oh, tendon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So you're still, you could have been on this side. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to show you. You hold this. No, I got you it. You could do one side, you could do the other. Yep. See, so it's all about cutting that film back. Yep, so you come down here, cut that film back, and I'll cut, take it all the way around. Yep. It's pretty simple. It's just a matter of getting it started. If you actually know what you're doing after you do this a couple of times, I think I probably could have this skinned out in five minutes since it's still semi-warm. Yep. So the idea is to... You cut under that way you're not cutting the skin or the hair off of the skin and then the hair gets all over the meat it just makes for more of a cleanup you know what i'm saying mm, you're good i went through that time that's all right shit happens yeah, i know I mean, I saw it today. A lot of guys take this to a butcher. I'm not even sure these days what that costs. Probably about a hundred bucks just to have. It used to be a hundred and forty. Hundred and forty. Yeah, that was years ago. I guess it depends on where you go. You know, I get, and what do they do? They just gonna cut it up and hit, put it all in the hamburger unless you have want something else done. And you don't know if you're getting your deer back. Well, that's true too. Yeah, that's important or something. Yeah, that is. Yeah. So, my grandparents, from the time I was twelve taught me how to butcher at home by ourselves. Not only does it save us a lot of money, it saves us a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a it's a family tradition. I think is the most important part for me is the tradition cuz I'll never forget butchering deer with my grandfather and my father. And you'll never forget doing this for the first I mean you've done this before but never your own, so this is a lot more a lot special for you, but you don't want to have like that kind of shit. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. You're doing totally fine. Here, wait, stop. This. So if you pull down on this, and wherever it resists is where you're going to cut. Yep. 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 There you go. Pretty simple. And come up here and get the uh, around the this area here so that you can bring this all down. Then you go and do the other side. And then when I suggest doing this when the deer is the meat is still warm, it'll peel off. It's kind of like butter. Let's try to pull it down here. Just yeah, right yeah. This is why. This is how I prefer. To go in here, just like you're flaying a fish, just yep. lightly scrape. You're just cutting that, cutting that film off. Yep. Boy, he ate good too. Look at all that fat on that body. Oh yeah, there's a good healthy deer. Once you take all this fur off, you end up with a lot less meat than you expect, huh? So Steve, try it. Start up on this leg now. Here, this side. Cut in here, like like you said. It's almost like you're gutting a fish. You're gonna run your blade up oh, the inside. Yeah. 
Oh, they, all, they, they all looked he real was nice and healthy. Good. Look at all this fat. Well, I said to the kid, I said, where the hell is there? He was prepped for winter. Where is there a field around there? Because I don't I don't know of any field. It's all mountain. Unless somebody there, somebody has a food plot or... Because they all came from the same area. Did they? Yeah. Which was, you know... Well, so catching yeah. that morning sun, warming up. Yeah, I do all, of, all, all around there. Yep. Together. Yep. Once he gets that side, this should just peel right on down. And go up that side then. Man, look at all that. Mm -hmm. Look at all that. Yeah. Look at how healthy he was. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Really yeah. Connected there. Yep. They were eating. So I think what we're gonna do with this, you said you want a lot of burger for like. Yeah, I use a lot more burger than anything. Yeah, you use burger and chili, tacos, and all those, that. Those, uh, those, uh, your back straps. Oh, here, that we the mean. money part. Yeah. <laughs> when you do, you cut them into the. We cut them into small chunk medallions, and then. Do you do the barbecue sauce marinating to uh, get them on the grill? No, we. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> we, that's one way to do it. We, our family favorite is the uh, butter onions, and I could give up this. I'll give up the recipe. Two shots of Southern Comfort. Is that what the, is that what you were talking about, Steve? It mm -hmm. takes it, and it just it, it just delicious. fucking caramelizes on it, the meat. And it takes, sounds delicious. Do you ever have that like Brock's caramel, like yeah. the chunks of caramel? Yeah. That's what it does to the back straps. It like it just fucking turns them into candy. It is so amazing. So if you haven't yet, you should subscribe because that's a hell of a hint with the uh, Southern Comfort. And you can do that with even hind end meat too. Yeah. You know, it's just not quite as tender. You know, the not, neck not the fillet is in, a, in a crock pot. My grandmother yeah. my, used that's to do a, that. My grand, yeah. And I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I my, really don't. I th I think what I remember she used to do was boil it out and then use the meat off of it like as in like a sausage kind of meat yeah. or like a hamburger type you're fine so what you're gonna you have to get this all around this butt hole here i don't know if you have to cut the tail off or yeah, yeah. you're gonna have to come around and cut that down there you may need your should be able to get it with this if you get yep yep you're, you got it yep. Steve, i can pull down if you want yeah, to pull on this down. side there you go just don't cut anybody. Cut this out here, it'll come down a little further. And yeah, once you get that, man, we're home free. This is still yep. Beautiful fur on this animal, too. Oh, yeah, it is yeah, thick, right? Beautiful. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's no. one, more shit. That's where they, I was telling them in the uh, gutting video, they, they make a. Uh, yeah, a whole cool. reamer. Yeah. That's what my buddy Kyle used, and it worked out. My buddy there. Scott used it. Yeah, you just ream the whole asshole out and pull it out and right like during said, gutting time i could only imagine how quick after so many years of doing this and being successful how how quick yeah <laughs> it can well, be i'll tell you what it all. took it didn't take him any grab time to side. gut it yep, grab that Hold side on. and you and maybe just gotta watch the hoist because i only use like thin string today yeah, go ahead and pull it yep. Oop. Yep. Oh, Steve, you know what around our our flanks here. Yeah. Oh yeah. My hand's got a cramp. <laughs> Imagine how it is when it's cold. I know. When the meat's frozen. We used to hunt up in Potter County. Yeah. I have buddies that did that. So if you shoot like on day one and your deer just hangs there, you it's, so you bring it home. It's rock hard. It's rock hard. <laughs> you know, and there you are, you have to fucking skin this thing out. We learn, I learned from other family members to get it done as soon as possible. I mean, now if you're traveling with the, the deer, you're supposed to take like the hide or head with. Yeah. So they can identify what the meat is easier, but are you ready? But uh, we used to just bag everything, quarter everything up. You have your hind quarters, your front legs. How cold was it? I've hunted up and there when it was like negative me. 10, I've seen. You were out in that? When I was, um, I, I started hunting up there when I was 12 years old in 1986. It was amazing. Boy, now you're lying. I, 
We were like 45 at that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. He was 45 uh -huh. at that time. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm fucking 46 years old now. I can tell you <laughs> no this. Way. I can tell you this. I sat in the woods for less than 10 minutes and I shot my first deer up there. I heard people say that. Did you, it was you phenomenal. the same thing? It was phenomenal. It, it slowed in the 90s. It slowed. Is there a tick on me? Where? I felt it crawling. I don't see anything. Maybe but, I knocked it off. Um, it, as the as the state changed the antler restrictions, yeah. what happened was we started to see the bigger buck, just like everywhere. Yep. But for some reason, at that same time, the coyotes got bad. So well, they, they seemed they to see a lot them. less. Yeah, they lot did less doe. Them. Lot less doe. So, but I mean, you got the trophy buck. Back in, in the 80s and 90s, shot, I shot a lot of spikes and Ys. Did, Tons. My, now, Tons. during the 90s, because when my buddy was telling me his family used to, they had a, they had a uh, cabin up there. Yep. Probably, probably like what your family did. Yeah, yeah. And um, they said it was basket buck heaven. Oh, God, yeah. There was so many You shot one, I think if you shot one like this, you were the fucking hero. You know, okay, all right, all right, all right. For, so for the it most was like part, that for yeah. you too. Well, it's it's a, yeah, it's or, or everybody. Yeah, I would say yeah, yeah. I mean, this would have been a very. I mean, it's a nice buck for anybody. It's not huge. There's trophy hunters that wouldn't shoot this, but we're all about the meat. Damn yeah. right, because that's, that's tasty. Yep. You yep. really can't get much better than this meat. No, nope. no. Nope. All that fat on that's gonna fry up. We usually get rid of our fat. You keep it? No, 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 no. But the little bit that's in there, you know what I mean? You oh, kind yeah, of yeah. figure, I can't believe how much he's got on him, man. This guy he does. Especially great. since it's not even super cold now. Yeah. But so here's where the here's where the uh, arrow came. Or no, that's the entry. Here's the exit. Wait, mm -hmm. This is entry. Yeah, this is entry. And yeah, here's your here's his exit. So yeah, he that's why he dropped so quick. He couldn't breathe. <laughs> yeah. Great shot. Yep. Oh, yeah. He was pissing me off, though, because he stood behind this tree for, like, at least three minutes, and I was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> that, it, it was very, it was a very tense moment to have that many goddamn buck. Not a, not a single Man, doe with them. You guys had the does, the, There was a doe down the hill, but nothing. It was amazing. So. And this was the one that presented the shot. As the bigger, the first big one went into the great, where we couldn't yeah, see him anymore, yeah, I was yeah. thinking, son of a bitch, that's the one he should have shot. Yeah, but. But he never got a shot at him, so. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys did damn good. Do you want good. me to show you how to do this bottom? Sure. All right, so what you're going to do here is the front shoulders are a pain in the ass, so I'll bring that over. You're just going to. Cut up into like the armpit area without taking meat with. Because you're gonna, all you're trying to do is get these. We'll leave the shoulders on, the front shoulders on. Oh, this has got this fucking jelly stuff, which is a pain in the arse. You get to the elbow here, and you can run this down. Gross. I'm just showing you because you're going to do the other side then. Yeah. 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 And that's exactly what this feels like. Fucking jello. It's just blood clotted. It's got all that fucking hair. get this down and around its front shoulder like that so I'll peel right off the coolest thing about this is you can't really fuck it up nope <laughs> biggest thing to remember is don't cut yourself don't cut your buddy that's trying to help you. And just take your time. It's 
nice if you, you know it's not super hot out. Oh, what's the temperature now? We're at, oh, I think we're in the. I think maybe, we're in the sixties now. Maybe sixty degrees. Maybe. Yeah. I know when we were driving home, it was still what forty nine on your. Yeah, forty eight. I think forty nine. So yeah, see, I got you. Just kind of get the pit area cleared out there. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you can see your shoulder. Yep. Now you got the shoulder. And bring that out. Gross. Yep. Well, you got the shoulder exposed here now. Wasn't too bad. You just bring it down and around it. All right. You want me to do the other side or you want to do it? You can do it. Uh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same thing. We're just going to. You're not going to learn nothing, are you, Steve? No. <laughs> You're just going to bring it down. You did hit this. I mean, oh, dude, you sheared the back of his elbow off. <laughs> did I really? I don't know. Or maybe not. Well, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was right over the... No, that's where it come out at. Yeah, this is his exit. Wow, so maybe that he, arrow he had some... When it um, fell? He that might, sheared. He fell, yeah. like, immediately. Wow. Four times. Oh, he, he was trying to oh. run on it. But so, yeah, yeah he could have... cut. Do You might have cut that. Or no, yeah, cutting the bone with a knife. I didn't. No. <laughs> much. Well, damn, uh, man, you really put it on. I said it, this thing like it, it dropped like it was a like a rifle shot. It was it's just amazing. Would you agree that those broad these broadheads are so deadly and destructive? Oh yeah. There's no chance. Well, you would have a better chance of surviving a gunshot wound than this, probably. I don't know. This just he bled so much. It was it was just amazing. I mean, again, you hit both lungs. Perfect shot. I will see if we hit the heart. Hopefully not. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, but. Man, if you took out the whole boiler room in one foul swoop. He did. He did. One hundred percent. Yeah, I, the that's fact what I'm that thinking. you even hit. You know how people say don't to rush, don't rush it. There was no rush. I fucking waited. Yeah, he, he did take <laughs> his time. That's great, man. That's awesome. And there was get, no and rush. Got a beautiful buck. Bring that over and show them. So this is the same thing as the other side. Just exposing this front shoulder. You're not getting a ton of meat out of the front shoulder. I think most guys would be the same thing they're making some kind of burger or ground up sausage type meat out of your front end good old burgers for the taco but then you're down here at this nice neck roast everybody loves burritos Steve. i know yeah right ain't nobody that does it. Yep. i like me some i like tacos i'm not big into mexican you know but He's even clotting up down at his freaking neck there. Yeah, that's fresh. Just starting to clot, dude. As fresh as it gets. Yeah. I'll let you finish this. You can just keep going down around the neck as far as you can. You could cut the fur to help you get down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here, you want me to hold something for you, see? You're just gonna scrap the pelt, right? Yeah, I don't... You're not gonna make anything out of it or anything. No. Like that. Yeah, go ahead, right here, Steve. Just cut just straight. Run it right down. Run it right down, yeah. Just to give yourself, like, more room to be able to go lower on the neck roast. Yeah, try to... Because you're gonna just probably cut this off here, yeah. like we... Like what a, do you use the sawzall or yeah we'll, yeah we'll hook up a sawzall and cut his legs off well we'll start at the head obviously yeah damn well, dude you did a great job on that man <laughs> that's funny with that front leg though i don't know how the hell you, that happened like you that. put the beating on him he wasn't going nowhere said it thumped <laughs> yeah you thumped the they're out. amazing when they hit you know? oh yeah well i couldn't see the actual shot placement so when he uh, oh i knew what when i it, it took literally all of five seconds for it to fall the first time but not even not even it was like one second Bang, and it was flop. and it was dry, it was on its front legs it was only moving with its rear and that's when i knew took it right out of four wheel drive yep hang on let see let me see if i can't help you out here go ahead yeah just run that thing 
most of that you're perfect gonna, man yep most of that you're just gonna probably do in burger right mm -hmm. cut it up and So yeah, if you cut cut the meat as much of the meat as you can, and then we'll get the sawzall to cut the cut the bone, the spine, like as far down as possible, I guess. So just maybe cut like right here. I think that's kind of behind the skull, right? Yep, there you got it. Yep. Here, Steve will turn them over to you so you can work on them. Yeah, you can cut through like the esophagus down in there. This throat slitter. You can. Well, you might as well wait until you just watch that don't fly into him. Yeah, that's wrong. I'm out of the way. <laughs> All right. We're good. You know how when shit releases, the, uh, it's, the yeah. hand keeps going and my you know, asshole keeps going. Just remember, even a dull knife will still cut skin oh, real good. Oh, yeah. 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 I was actually, he, this is the first time he's using this kit. That kit is extremely nice. Yeah. Where'd you get that one? Amazon, or no, not Amazon. I think I got that at Dick's. It was like $22. Yeah. Really? It was clearance. They're talking about this kit here. It's got, I think it's a mossy oak kit. All you need, you don't need big dollar stuff to go out and have a great time. No, nope. So that's probably pretty good, dude. You don't want to dull your knife on the bone. Yeah. So what I did here was you're going to hold this. <laughs> What I did here was cut the meat down here low at the uh, front elbow and so you can cut it off with a sawzall, reciprocating saw. Pretty simple stuff, makes it a lot easier on you. I, I prefer cutting the meat because, well, saws don't do very well cutting through meat. So bring the hair down as far as possible. Usually like where you can see the meat stops here, just above the, the elbow. Now you can cut that with the saw. And the trash men love that. I did see a meme the other day. This was funny as shit. It's a guy must have been doing this same thing at his house, and on his trash can he says, "This is a deer, not my wife." <laughs> because do you see all this blood? I don't know. So next, we're gonna probably clean up all of this fat off of it. I'll have them do that or him do that so we can expose the uh, back straps here to cut them out. I'm going to pull the, the front quarters off, which is really simple. I'm going to hold this. I'll show them how to do that on this side. Then you can do the other side. This is the simplest thing to do. You're going to grab a hold of this. You're going to come up in here at the armpit and you're going to cut your meat out. Get it in there so you can, they can see. All it is is like the, the muscles that move the front end, the front legs. And then you have this film that holds it all together. So what you can do is bring that up, bring that around, and then there you have it. Quick and easy way to take off your front quarters. This is how I learned how to do it, by actually doing it. I was told, and then I did. So you'll be able to do this. Kaladi. Uh, we'll cut all that off because that's not good to eat either, I don't think. I don't want to eat it. No. So what you don't want to do is there's a shoulder blade here that's going to come around. So you would just want to keep going the way that I was showing you from, yep, let me get around here. From that side. No, back here. You don't want to cut into that bone. Yeah. Yeah, you can cut this fat away. Yep. It'll all just peel away. See the shoulder blade there? There you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. Put that on down. 
that's all going to get cut up in the burger. Yep, perfect. Wow, look, it's even bloodshot where he hit it. Yeah. He hit it so hard. Yep. It got bloodshot almost like a rifle. Yeah, that's why I said it. It bled like a damn rifle. So yeah, just don't cut into the back straps here. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna fuck that. I'll cut them all out then. Once you clear all that crap off. My uncles were shit faced and they all did it a blue million times. So yeah. so they would do it so quick and it's like Wow. And, and, and then you do, they do one side this and like, ah, oh, you weren't fucking, paying attention. This is all, I want to get rid of this shit. It just, it just fucks up the hole. So I'm just cleaning up the back strap area to prep for removal. This is like the, this is, I guess most guys, this is what they hunt for. Obviously the thrill of the hunt is phenomenal, but this stretch of, uh, territory here is you know orgasmic awesome. orgasmic yeah if you cook it right and if you cook it wrong you need to be smacked there's <laughs> not really there's not really much of a way to cook it wrong is there you know what i mean, I mean you can burn it and then well you i just, guess if you just fuck it all you'd go up, straight you know? to hell at that point but i mean i can understand if you were like going going to the refrigerator to get a beer and it's slightly burned but that was a long trip to get a beer so i don't know yeah, and butter and onions, probably the can't go wrong technique for cooking this. You're going to dice it up, which maybe we'll do a video on that. I don't know. I mean, we can make it tonight. <laughs> we can make it tonight, maybe. Yeah. Do you age One your of deer, them. Steve? Do you I, age your meat when it's cold enough, when the temperature pre uh, presents itself? We used to do that, like I said, when we were up in Potter County, but I think uh, it just, I don't know, and that was more of like a, not because we were aging it, it was just a... That's a giant the freezer because we're so cold. Yeah. The world was a freezer. So no, does, does anybody else age it? Age deer for me? Oh, my one buddy does. I just huh? want to know what your I don't never did it. Never did it. There's only the bag like, they put over it and then they let it hang here when it's cold enough, when the temperature is not over 40. Yeah. And they let it hang for a week and then you go through and you cut it off just like a fine steak. The outside yeah. actually sounds well, disgusting, but it rots and it breaks down a little bit. And then when you cut that off, you have that tender That's, meat underneath, yeah, but yeah. to tell you the you truth, you have to salt it. I wonder in no, any way to no, preserve no, it or nothing. No, there's no. a bag you put on it. It skims over, and apparently, I don't know. My buddy did it. It was good. Yeah. All right. So bring that on in here. So here you have your the, the deer spine. Okay. So on both sides is a back strap. You got the upper the hind quarters here. So what I we I was taught to do is come across here, cut this kind of to separate the back strap from the hind quarter. You do that on both sides. The old thick boy. Nothing's gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna do this side, the, the boy's gonna do the other side. So it's almost like filleting a fish. You're just gonna come down the spinal column here. And you go as far as you want. I'm not too technical on as far as like where the actual backstrap filet mignon meat ends and begins. So you're gonna get in here and kind of filet it off of the spine, leaving the least amount of meat as possible. Would you like a bunny filet knife? Ah, uh, let me see if it's, gotta get rid of this shit here. No, I think I'm good. I'm used to using these. So it's just a matter of getting it started. And once you do, just like everything else, this should just peel, kind of peel out for you. So you gotta remember there's ribs inside this and the whole backbone. So it's just gentle. And again, there's no mess, there's no wrong or right way I mean, I'm sure, hope, maybe I'll get some comments on giving me some hints on how I could do things a little bit better. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let me know. I'm always willing to learn. 
guess that's why you're watching this video because you want to learn or maybe you're just sick and twisted and enjoy watching things get butchered which i don't mind either so it's pretty simple it's just see how it's tearing it's kind of just peeling down just taking the knife and kind of cutting the film off so it tears or not tears but lays down simple so yeah, you could save this piece here even though it's more tendon than anything you know, it cleaned up in the house better yeah and there you have a whitetail venison backstrap filet mignon now the kid's going to do the other side. But before that, see, very little meat left. It's all bone. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Let's this. See, pretty simple. Wow. Great. Right? Look at that. I mean, up here it sucked, because, but. Well, yeah, but that's still great. That's all you do is just, this is just yeah. ribs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So here's the boy trying to get his side started and no big deal there you go yep just peeling it down get rid of some of this shit it'll come yep you figure out what side you like to work from and go from there yep, you just pull pull as you cut and it'll all just peel right down. I think what you want to do is get in from this side. Maybe hold it the other. Can you hold a knife with your left? No, sir. No? Okay. Yep. That's what you don't want to leave, leave anything behind. Whoa! <laughs> Went right into the Follow ribs. the rib cage. <laughs> there you go. Now you got it. Yep, just pull. Little, little scrapes. Yep, little, yep, little, just, you don't actually want to cut anything. You just want to, like he said, scrapes. Yep. That's it. As thin out as you go. You can get this in there. Nice shot. Yeah. Very little. nice. Compensating for something there. I mean, right is that about right? That's probably closer to right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I was talking about the the long part was not not the penis. I promise. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's no such thing, bro. <laughs> but you know, I, I mean, those flank stakes. Shit, yeah. you go to buy them now. Yeah. They used to be cheaper. Yeah. That's got to be a flank. It's stage. gotta be. You're just gonna. It's gotta be that. a flank. Stage. I'll throw it in here. Don't let me forget. Here. There's no fucking up. Yeah, I mean, I know. You're going to right. eat them about that size. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They sure shit look like flag steaks. Yeah, I mean, I like this here and here looks like it, but this is fucking the membrane that like yeah. holds it See, guts I in. Always, so I don't think I always I thought those. like when you gutted the cow, the, the flaps were the flanks. I don't know. Leave in I'm the comments. Let us know if, if this guy is correct or not, because I don't know the answer. We could certainly look it up on the internet, but we're a little bit busy doing this. I'm also lazy, so and we're lazy, yeah. And we'd rather worry about eating, yeah, <laughs> this cleaning this meat <laughs> <Yeah>. than, <laughs> than looking for dunk. Right? So there we go. That actually made it easy for me to get into these. So these are the inner loins. This is for Brad. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is what a lot of guys absolutely love as well. You know, so they're pretty simple to cut out. The kid when he was gutting it dressing it in the woods he took a sliver out of it it's no big deal it was the first time he'll he'll be mindful of it next time don't be too too uh me on him he'll get it he'll get the hang of it. it takes a while and he's young he's gonna shoot a lot more of these i hope so there it is 
that's probably, I mean, this one's all butchered up, but it's good stuff. Get this last inside one here. So basically what you do on these is the same thing as the back straps, kind of going to go on the inside of the spine. This side's a little bit weak, but we'll get it. You're going to go on the inside of the spine and, oops, yeah, I left a little bit there. You're going to clean these up in the house a little bit better or wherever you're going to do your actual processing. There you go. Nice slab oh, of meat. Beautiful. You clean up all the clotting off of it and fry that up. So here's a trick that I learned. So a lot of guys, when they're field dressing, gutting their deer, they will actually cut the heart out. Then if you want to want to eat the heart, you're forced to bag it, put it in a pocket, leave it in here. It's its own pocket. It's connected by its art, the main arteries here, which I'm about to, I'm going to cut off and show you. And it gets it out of the wood, wood safe and sound for you. And all you got to do when you come here, it's a lot easier to cut this right off. And there you got your heart, which if I'm not mistaken, he went right through, right? I okay. did. So you hit the heart and lungs. Triple. I, I don't see that's well, there's that's that. the definitely the broadhead went in. It might have went out. I think how this this was here. So it went through this side. Probably Maybe you nicked it, or did it come up in probably here? Probably through the top, and top then it came, and came out, out there, which that, is why it's flared. Makes, makes a lot of sense. So, and that's a cool thing too. You can actually, when you get get to the garage, you can check and see. Now, I I wouldn't leave your lungs in because that's just get get them out. You're not eating the lungs, but the heart. Uh, if you're gonna eat it, leave it in. It's perfect, easy way. Is that easy? A lot of people don't eat the heart, but no, my wife, but... my wife's like, oh, you shouldn't be eating organs. <laughs> you know what? I yeah. thought the same thing too. But then when my niece said, oh, it's my favorite, you gotta try it. And you know, my whole life I've been telling her, oh, well, you gotta try it. You don't even yeah. know if you're yeah. gonna, if you like it or not, if you don't ever try. And then yep. you pulled my shit on me. Yep. Yeah. All right, you want to clean some of this off of here, right? Because you're not going to get that's a lot of like burger meat down there. That you, yeah, we it's can. only one deer. We might as well get as yeah. much as we can. Well, yeah, of take it. it. I mean, you guys went through all the work to get it. it. Um, he wants to hold it for yep. you. Yep. I'll hold the top from spinning. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the. Oh, hold on. We're going to cut the neck roast off, off the body here with a saw. <laughs> Use a knife for the rest. I think yeah, you probably just have the, oh, that's yep. the esophagus there. Okay. That's okay. You can just cut right through that. We're not that. cutting anything we want to keep. No. All right. Yeah, straight off. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice tube. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that big head. See, I mean, you got a ton meat. of meat out of there. You can either cut it out boil it off the you know the neck bones or whatever it's got to be cleaned up just gonna uh, cut just, it out yep so this here is all bloodshot blasted blasted so what we're gonna do is we're not even gonna mess around with most of this we may trim a little bit off here just for ground meat purposes some of this flank but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the saws on we're gonna cut the top of this I'm gonna cut right here just to get that. If this falls, it falls. Right. It's no biggie. Yeah, just cut it up high. <laughs> one whack right there, Steve. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Just meat holding on. So we can have if you have a if you have a buddy that stays in bed and doesn't, you know, come out to help, you can have him pick off all the meat off of that. I'm guessing you can get a couple pounds out of it to ground up into sausage, hamburger meat. It's good on tacos, burritos, chili. My wife makes a badass chili out of venison. It's good. Okay. Okay, so what we did here down for, to get these hind quarters separated is we cut along the spine here. And then we're going to take the saw and he's going to cut down through here to separate them. Might have to come and do both sides. 
but I can't get that close. Oh, we can bring it to you. You might have to go. You're probably better off coming from this side because all you, all you got to do is up here. Yep. And then just be careful because this. This might get flimsy and. So you might as well keep that in your hand. Do you have a knife on you? Nope. All right, this is where it's gonna get stupid. I'll hold this side. Oh, yeah, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. here, cut that for him. So what you're gonna do is cut, cut across here. Same thing we did on the front. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't want to cut this tendon because then the whole thing will fall. <laughs> yeah, we so just cut this way. Yeah, cut that. Yep. Straight across to the bone. And there it is. And then so he can cut. Do it on that one. Yep, cut across there. And that gets you right where you want to be. And then, yeah, he can. Yep, cut that. And then go ahead and sawzall okay. that off. Give him the knife. I'm gonna saw, cut that bone off. Nice. What's up? Oh, my phone. Watch that side a little. All right, that's good. That's good. Cause that's just tendon. Oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, yeah this time. Good work, Steve. Talk to them. Hold on. All right, perfect. So, you want to hold this side, Steve? And do you want to? Yep. I'll help you with this. And just cut the tendon. Yep. A little bit here yet, this tendon. And that's it. There's your hind quarter. I don't know if that bag's gonna be big enough or not. Ah, uh, these are gonna shoot crap. That bag's gonna rip. I'll get another and one. Dense. All right, so that's it for this. We'll cut this off. And then the rest we're gonna do in the house. So I think maybe that's a, another video making sausage and ground beef. If we make a video, this should help everybody out. If you don't have a grinder, um, you could go to a butcher. Butchers all have them. There's a bunch all over the country. Um, yeah. Watch out for flying gear. Like. <laughs> if you have a grinder, which we have a grinder, my grandparents gave me a, hooked me up with a grinder a bunch of years ago. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take like the front quarters. We're gonna chop them up into one inch chunks, give or take, couple, whatever, just enough to get into the grinder which is, depends on what gr size grinder you have. Um, hind quarters, we will probably make into steaks and uh, roasts for, that we'll probably freeze and then when we're ready to, we will cut up and make jerky. Um, back straps, obviously you know what's gonna happen with them. So these guys are saying they're hungry. We're gonna probably go in, clean up some back straps, get them frying. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let us know. Did we screw something up? I doubt it because we're fucking awesome, but thank you.